Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be sharing with you a tutorial on how I created my washi wands. Now I was inspired by a video that I'll go ahead and link in the description box in case you guys want to check it out. But I love the idea of just putting washi on mine. The person whose video I did watch, they had trims, twine, washi, and all kinds of stuff. So you could do something like that, but I just wanted to stick to washi on mine, and I just loved calling them washi ones. So if you wanna see how I created this, then just keep watching. So first off, you're going to need five spools. I picked up all my supplies from Hobby Lobby. I also picked these up. You're going to need two decorative ends, as well as these screw eyes and you'll only need one of those. I also am gonna be using some wood glue and I used black paint for mine. So first, I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little bit of glue to one of the spools and adhere another one on top. Now the cool thing about this wood glue is it sets up really fast. It actually sets up in about maybe a minute or two, not even. So I'm just cleaning off the excess glue around the spools and I'm taking another spool and I'm going to create another little stack of two, like so. I'm just waiting for the other stack to dry and then I'm just gonna go ahead and grab a baby wipe and clean off the excess glue around the spools. Gently handled, you're able to paint this in about a few minutes. It sets up pretty quickly, and I just love that about it. So I'm using the wood glue because, you know, the spools are wooden, so I figured this would be perfect. So I'm just adding the last spool to the top and wiping off any excess glue with a baby wipe. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and set that aside and let it dry a little bit longer. And while that's drying, I'm just gonna go ahead and take my two decorative pieces that I'm going to be placing on the end and I'm just going to paint them with my black acrylic paint. So now I'm just going to be adding a little bit of wood glue on top of one of these stacks of spools and gluing them together so that it creates one giant wand. I'm wiping off any excess glue, there wasn't a ton, and I'm gonna let that dry. So now I'm gonna take something sharp, this is an awl, and I'm going to be poking a little hole on top of my decorative end, only one of them and that is for your eye screw to go into. And now I'm just painting my wand black. I am going to be doing a tutorial on my second channel, my Halloween crafty channel that I'll link in the description box below in case you guys wanna go subscribe. But I did have a tutorial for a mini washi wand that I created and it is in the colors of candy corn. So if you wanna go check that out, it's gonna be on my other channel. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and take my screw eye and place it in the hole that you created on one of the decorative end pieces. And I'm going to twist it in I'm using my tool for my cinch to hold it in place while I rotate the piece around, if that makes sense. And there you go. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and paint the opposite end. A lot of painting, a lot of gluing, a lot of painting. <laughs> but it's totally worth it. I Like I said, I just love these so much. And you don't have to add washi to them. You can add twine trims, anything you'd like. I just like the idea of calling mine washi wands and adding just washi to them. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish painting this. Now once that's dry, I just applied some glue to the decorative piece and placed it on top of my washi wand. 
let it set up for a minute and gluing the other decorative piece to the opposite end. Just like so. And there you go. Now the glue I just cleaned up, um, but if you wanna paint over that glue, you're more than welcome. And now it's time for the fun part, to add on the washi. So I'm gonna be using this washi from Crate Paper's Hey Pumpkin Collection, because I'm actually going to be gifting this to a friend. So this is just me adding on my washi. Now, sometimes the washi doesn't go on perfectly straight. You kind of have to maneuver it, you know, peel it back up, maneuver it to where you want, manipulate it a little bit, and then, um, then it kind of just goes around there perfectly. But I don't know, I'm having problems with some of my washi where it just keeps trying to peel up. So what I did is I just added a little glue dot to the underside of the end of the washi and it stayed put pretty good. So if you find that you're having that problem, that's what I did. So you guys can just listen to some music and watch me add my washi to my washi wand. Now that all my washi is added to my washi wand, I'm just gonna go ahead and add this cute little charm that I put together onto my screw eye on the top of my washi wand. I have a little lobster clasp, just so it's easy for me to just clip on there, and if they want, they can uh, make a charm of their own and just add it to the top of the washi wand. So. That's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know if you guys are going to try this in the comments down below. And like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks again for watching, and I'll talk to you all soon. Love you guys. Bye.